Hi, welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Down syndrome. Down syndrome is the most common autosomal trisomy, which is called as trisomy 21, and it is also the most common genetic cause of severe learning difficulties in children. The incidence varies according to the maternal age, and the risk factors are older mother and also if they have a family history of Down syndrome. The cytogenetics inheritance can be three main types, which are non disjunction type, which is the most commonly seen, consists on around 95% of the cases, and others include translocation and mosaicism. For the facial appearance of babies with Down syndrome, you can see that there is a round face and shorter neck compared to other children. They have a flat occiput and also hypertellurism which is an abnormal ratio between the distance between two pupils and the distance between the lateral canthus. Bilateral upward slanting of their eyes is seen, and if you look closely at the iris, there is brush few spots seen in this syndrome. And some of them may have congenital eye problems such as cataract, squinting, or glaucoma. Epicanthic falls can be seen in the first picture and also the second picture where there is an upper eyelid skin fall covering the inner corner of the eye. And other fe facial features include a flat nasal bridge, a slightly protruding tongue, and also low set ears, where the earlobe is less than one third below the imaginary intercanter line. Whereas for the hands and the feet, for the hands, usually they have a single palmar crease, known as the simian crease, and also clinodectally, where there is incurving of the fifth finger. Short and stubby fingers can be seen, and overall they are hypotonia, where there is reduced tone in their upper limbs and their lower limbs. Whereas at the leg, you can note a sandal gap between the big toe and the second toe. You can see the picture here, there is a gap. gap. They might have some medical problems for a newborn with Down syndrome. They are usually associated with cardiac defects, where AVSD is the most common type, and there are also other types. For the gastrointestinal tract, the most common uh, anomaly will be the duodenal atresia. And others include pyloric stenosis, tracheoesophageal fistula, Hirschsprung disease, and also anorectal malformation. They may also have problems in their vision, feeding problems, congenital hypothyroidism, and also congenital dislocation of their hips. Moving on into infancy and childhood, you may be able to notice that they have delayed in developmental milestones and the intellectual impairment varies from mild to severe. Recurrent respiratory infections, hearing and visual impairment, so they will need frequent follow-up. And they are also associated with leukemia, which is a blood disorder, allantoaxial instability, hypothyroidism and short stature. For adolescents, for girls, their menarche is slightly delayed whereas for boys, they are usually infertile in Down syndrome cases. Obstructive sleep apnea may be noted, social withdrawal and depression, and people with Down syndrome also has a higher risk of dementia or Alzheimer disease. For management, you have to do careful examination to look for any associated complications, such as in the cardiac examination or in the gastrointestinal tract, whether there is any anomalies. Investigations that we can do are echocardiogram by two weeks or six weeks, chromosomal analysis to confirm the diagnosis, and also thyroid function tests to look for congenital hypothyroidism. So assess the strength and also the needs of the family and connect them with the local parent support group. And also health surveillance and monitoring should be done for the child with Down syndrome. So this is the recommendation for the medical surveillance for those who have Down syndrome. So there are a few tests that we we'll need to do. The first is the thyroid function test done at birth or within six weeks. And then one more test done at one year old and then three years old. This is to screen for any hypothyroidism. Growth monitoring is also checked regularly and also plotted on their Down syndrome growth chart. So after 18 months, the length and the weight is checked at least annually and also plotted growth charts as well. So eye examination and hearing examination are also frequently done 
to check whether there is any anomalies. Cardiological examination is also done where they do echocardiogram at birth and also do dental assessment. So after five years old, the follow-up will be less regular. So pediatric review annually, which means every year, and two yearly checkup for the hearing and vision, also two yearly for the thyroid blood test, and also check the school performance. And when they are older, in adolescence, we can discuss the employment when appropriate. So that's it for this video, thank you.